So, um, I just made a video, uh, called a, it's one of the Case for Christ series that I'm making. The next one will be all the unexpected people that, um, you wouldn't imagine are actually Christian or converted to Christianity. It's going to be just a lineup of all the different types of folks who ended up being Christian, uh, who didn't start out, ah, you know, like Apostle Paul, uh, was once Saul, you know, the greatest persecutor of Christians, and uh, ended up being one of the most I influential outside of, of course, Jesus is the ultimate uh, person. But um, I'm going to post a video down below of Malcolm X. I was watching some, uh, <sighs> it was one of these videos, it's called, uh, the ballot or the bullet and um, I think he's making you know in the spirit of the season in the spirit of the things people are talking about today politically for the for the winning souls over to Jesus Christ that is the effort that is the intention is to win souls over to Jesus Christ um, I'm gonna post it because as right as he was, which he's, he's still 100% right on a lot of things, there's still error, because I think at the time he was accurate because he, he lived, he's not alive now today, but um, you can see that a soul does not have a color, it does not have a skin tone of any type of, um, a soul isn't a gender, a soul is isn't it's best unless it's through Jesus Christ so um, of course he was a Muslim person again you know uh, it's it's really up to individuals to do a search and, and seek uh, it doesn't have any bearing on me about him and his life and about the, his legacy and the things that he's done for his folks but it's really hard to reiterate what he's saying without it coming from him because he's making great points there but you can hear toward the end there the things that I'm noticing in all his speeches he's saying that people from your own community should be the ones who are building up your community because you would have your own community in mind uh, I actually agree with that uh, the problem is and this is where I think people would be won over to Jesus um, is the fact that you can vote for somebody who might look like you, whether it's a woman or they're Hispanic or they're black or they're white. It doesn't necessarily mean, especially if they're not out of your community, that they're going to re represent you correctly just because they look like you. You can see how in in a different time that would be important because of the way society was so so divided but now since we're just so intermingled, you know, our families are so diverse, naturally diverse from being the melting pot of the world, uh, it doesn't stand as solid as it once did because people don't vote with their skin color, they vote with their brain. And um, so uh, it's a person who's going to do the most for your community. And, and it really should, the person should come from your community. Uh, I'm from Queens, New York, but whatever. I, I'm not, I don't consider myself a New Yorker. But anyway, um, I, th I think the reason why uh, this is extremely valid is because he's talking about people being set up who look like you to trick you and I think those are really important things you know when he's saying that there are talking heads that are given all the time and all the attention and all the praise and are given the go-ahead and the affirmative to be the official spokespeople and they can pretty much say whatever they want and they're never held accountable for it but as soon as the wrong person comes in and represents a different thought they get shut down and it's because you know people want to keep um, others trapped you know for example um, trapped in their brain which is the hardest the worst thing you can do to people is trap them in their head or trap them based on you because of your skin color you have to think like this because of where you you know come from or your background you have to do that um, and that is the freedom when you're in Christ you can see for example you love truth okay so in Jesus Christ we love truth truth is what we thirst for that's that's the thing we're seeking uh, the truth is I don't care 
what anybody of any skin color votes for and what their opinions are on anything. I would prefer more opinions the better. I would prefer, I would prefer more uh, folks coming out and voting whichever way they choose. Um, just because you're not voting my way or thinking my way does not mean you're less valid. Okay, but what I'm seeing, in my own humble opinion as a Christian, is seeing my fellow Christians, very specifically, who don't look like me, and they don't have to because our souls have no ethnicity. We're one in Jesus Christ. Through Christ we are one. Um, there's no Jew, Greek no, nor Jew. So, in Christ that is, it's biblical. Um, so, when I see them being shut down because they have a different opinion, I can't help but feel like that's its own form of, and it's because of their skin color. It's, I mean, they wouldn't shut somebody down who looked like me saying those things, but they would shut them down. I can't help but wonder, is that racist? And even, even if, it's your, if somebody who looks like you is shutting you down, that doesn't matter to me because this is my brother or sister in Christ. So I don't care what you look like. You're telling them they can't vote or think or believe however they so choose. That's a problem because you're trying to say that they should idolize their skin color over their thought process or being true to their God and how their God would wish for them to vote or, you know, vote for a third party to rebel and say, I don't care about either of these systems or either of these two parties, so I'm going to vote a third party. Or if they're saying, I'll vote, you know, Trump or Biden, they can vote however they choose. And, 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 and there's a binding. So I feel like the Christians are loosening the political scene, whereas the there's this other side of the spectrum that's binding. You know, um, there's a binding happening on uh, when, when folks are idolizing Trump. That's a bit of a binding too. There's a problem there. I can see that happening. But but there's a binding of saying you're not this race unless you think like this or you do that. I mean, what? <laughs> So he has a point. He has a point. There's an approved group of people who come in front of others appearing to be the same, appearing to care and have the same, uh, you know, um, concerns, but really they're just trying to keep everybody's mindsets in a certain alignment with their skin tone. And, um, and it's a form of manipulation. I agree with him. But we're toward the end, he starts saying, oh, you have to have somebody in office who looks like you. Well, you know, there are some people who I've seen the point of online that say there's been eight years of a guy who looked like me and uh, he didn't do anything for my community. So that's their opinion. And guess what? They're allowed to have it. You want to know why? Uh, not just because they're, they're you know, one of uh, my people in Christ, but because they're made in the image of God and they're allowed to believe and think however they choose to think and believe. And it's not just because I'm an American. I would believe this anywhere I am. Uh, this is a philosophy that's uh, that should be everywhere, that you should be able to think and feel and believe whatever you want, and uh, whether it's religion or political stance. Um, and I know in some places it's restricted, but uh, I, I notice people is societies thrive better and thrive more and end can shut cut can shut itself down when it decides to manipulate people and their thoughts and thought police and things like this it tends to uh, constrict society stress society out when you when you actually tell somebody they're a bad person because they don't think just like you it's not the demand of a christian that you have to think just like me you don't really have to. As a matter of fact, nobody, if you don't want to be a Christian, you don't have to be. Um, there are certain rules and regulations that's according to the Holy Spirit, through the guidance of the Spirit and the guidance of the Bible, and through the fellowship that we come to conclusions, but we are free to come to those conclusions, and there's a lot of variants. You can see Christians fight about stuff. By the end of the day, Christ is what we have in common, whereas there seems to be a skin tone common issue, and then there's a gender common issue, and then there's a, but we don't like these people common issue, and po politics is not where my heart is, but I, I can see there are some Christians that it really is their heart, and um, yeah, that's between them and God, really, but Malcolm X is on point. He's, he's saying some things that are completely relevant today, but you can see that the, just because somebody doesn't, looks like, just because somebody looks like you, like you doesn't mean they'll, they'll always represent you, you know? So anyway, um, this is Linda of Crisis King Forever. May God be with you.